Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would do a makeup look slightly more full coverage, slightly more, more <laughs> than normal. Um, while answering some of your questions, I put a question box on my Instagram the other day and actually, why am I lying? It was this morning. Um, and just asked you any questions that you had for me to answer. So I hope I answered some good ones. Hope my answers were good as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. I haven't actually read any of the questions that I put on my box on my Instagram story. If you don't follow my Instagram, by the way, it's just Daisy Harrier. Sorry, I also have not got a mirror right in front of me. So I just need to use this for these bits. But I just thought I would scroll through and just like pick out ones that I see basically like when I see them. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and then go up from the top. So I've actually had a lot of this question recently and that's what's my workout routine. I have been posting on my Instagram story that I've been doing a bit more gym at the minute, working out a little bit more. I'm going on holiday in a few days so I've been working a little bit harder because I'll be in a bikini. I'm actually someone who, I don't struggle with body confidence as such but I'm just not that like comfortable and like confident in a bikini and things and I don't know I just feel like it's something inside me it's nothing like I don't know I don't know I just never been like the most confident so I thought I'm going away at this literally in like three days I think when you're watching this and I wanted to feel confident so what have I been doing at the gym I go to the gym currently six days a week that sounds very extreme but I go in the mornings I know Quite a lot of jobs wouldn't allow that to like happen if you've got a job or like you go to school or whatever but I go to the gym six times a week and every single day that I go I do an incline walk whether it be like half an hour or an hour or like 45 minutes the lowest I'll probably do is about half an hour unless I get really bored and I'm really unmotivated then I will just get off and leave but I do it on 15 which is like the highest um incline and I do it on either five or three now the treadmills at my gym are either kilometers an hour or miles per hour there's different ones and when it's kilometers an hour i do five but like that's when i'm work like that's when i'm going really quickly let's say i normally do like four and a half or three miles an hour it's confusing but basically i do it until i'm kind of like panting i don't really sweat like i'm not really a sweater so i don't know yeah it's just until i'm hot and like feel out of breath and then I'll carry on that for the whole time and then after that I will do like an ab workout of kind of any kind I normally do the Daisy Keach Hourglass abs workout I'll put it in the description so you can find it I think it's got like millions and millions of views on, on YouTube because I think everyone was doing it like in lockdown but I think it really helps I guess any ab workout works if you're like doing the right things in terms of eating and things like you can't just magically get abs overnight you can't get abs in a week unless you're eating the right foods that like you have to lose fat for your abs to show unless you've got like no fat already but yeah i've also been eating in a calorie deficit while i've been going to the gym um if you don't know what, if you don't know what that means it just means basically you eat less calories than you burn so you're like eat less calories than you burn yeah so you yeah i thought for this video i'd do a bit more different questions rather than kind of like my age do i have a boyfriend that kind of thing because i've answered all those already for reference i'm 20 and yes i have a boyfriend but instead of doing a video like that because i've already done them in the past you can go and watch them if you're interested i thought i'd do a bit more kind of like not deep but like different questions so the next question is have you always wanted to do the job that you do now or was there a different job in mind now i have always 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 kind of dreamt of doing this not exactly this but just something social media -y, like i used to do makeup tutorials to my mirror but and wouldn't film them when i was probably about 12 no 14 like never in a million years that i think i would actually end up doing this as a career it is a dream come true without signing up the most cringe person ever i've always been someone that kind of watches youtube i loved kind of watching people when I was growing up and I always kind of thought like oh I'm so jealous like I wish I could do that and to actually have this as my job and this to be the case and like all of you guys it's the craziest thing I feel like I still haven't kind of got my head around it but in answer to your question I never actually thought I would become anything to do with social media so the thing that I did want to do was interior design I still love interior design I just don't know whether it will be a career for me i mean i'd love nothing more than for this to be my job 
for the rest of my life like that would be a dream come true like a literal dream come true um so i'll say i'll plan on doing this for the rest of my life um but yeah i used to always want to do interior design or like something like that like home staging i did want to be a forensic psychologist at one point i took psychology at a level and loved it but i thought i don't know i just couldn't actually see myself doing that as a profession it's just something that interests me okay the next question is what are my favorite tv shows to watch and i love Grey's Anatomy at the minute I've been watching Grey's Anatomy I restarted it. I think this is like the fourth time I'm watching it maybe third it's like 20 seasons long but I love it I'm obsessed I'm currently on season eight so if you guys have watched it before you'll know what bit I'm at I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts but not not spoilers I'm not going to give any spoilers um Grey's Anatomy I love I love the US office I think it's so funny um what are the tv shows and I'm not really like a tv show kind of girl I don't know I just watch YouTube but yeah like I said at the minute it's Grey's Anatomy I am just obsessed with it it's so good if you're from the UK and want to watch it it's on Disney plus by the way something else that's on Disney plus actually is Hannah Montana the movie and oh my god I was obsessed with that when I was younger and I saw a TikTok on it the other day and I had to watch it I've just finished watching it this morning actually such a good film okay face is set pretty much I might do a little bit more depending on how greasy I look at the end of this but next question is actually this is interesting someone said would you recommend using electrolytes or greens which do you prefer if brand like brands do you like so if you told me even six months ago that I would be drinking a greens powder voluntarily I would not believe you but I'd seen loads of people on TikTok talking about the specific brand of greens powder and that apparently it tasted like mango juice and I was like right not sure that it will but I want to give it a go and I tried it out it's actually nice and I think it's got like 21 ingredients in it it's from Free Soul it's called Fr oh no I just put my brush in my powder uh, cream bronzer so my powder bronzer um, it's called Free Soul, the brand, and it's their mango greens. Make sure it's the mango ones if you do get them because the non-mango ones probably taste disgusting. But this actually tastes like mango. I put a bit of apple squash in mine and it tastes like apple and mango. It's really nice. It's got 21 ingredients in it. I think I just said that. And yeah, it's nice. Like I think the benefits of it, I personally have experienced less bloating i used to always bloat at the end of the day now like literally not at all i don't know if it's 100 percent down to that maybe it's that i'm drinking more water because i have like in, in a big glass i don't know but i will say i have seen differences and i felt differences i actually feel like i'm in a better mood which i don't know if that's again a placebo effect but that's just my experience with it and it doesn't taste horrid it's bitty it's definitely a bit bitty but if you mix it with a bit more water i probably have it with like 500 mils of water um each bit is less bitty like right? instead of having it in 250 mils it's kind of half as bitty if that makes sense this is not an ad by the way and actually i've got them linked in my tiktok shop because the only reason i'm saying this is i think they're half price if you've never bought them before i think they're half price if you want to try it out but you're like i think they're like 30 pounds which is quite expensive but personally it's like one pound a day um because you get like a month's supply i probably would say it's worth it but i think they're 15 pounds so like try it out but for half price and yeah i'm actually really impressed with them so i would say if you're going to try a greens powder that's the one i'd recommend okay bronzer is done i use the sigma matte bronzer in light and now i'm going in with some blush this is actually a new blush that i've got it's from bobby brown it is the pale pink matte blush i love they very kindly sent me some stuff and like every time i get sent stuff from like a new brand it is a pinch me moment because i remember when i first got sent pr from huda beauty i remember when i was at school uh secondary school so probably 15 no 14 um the group of friends that i was with one of the girls always had like the newest makeup like her her mum would always buy her kind of what she wanted and my parents weren't like that they were just like you don't need it <laughs> so don't have it like and i do actually appreciate that now looking back because i didn't need it and it was a waste of money at that age however Huda Beauty is one of the things I always wanted to buy. I don't know why the makeup just looked like so nice. Like the packaging was so cool. Like it was expensive. Like I don't know. And 
I never bought anything because as well, I've always been someone who doesn't like spending my money on things I don't know or like. Always have been, probably always will be. And it was like £40 for a foundation or something. And I was like, I can't justify that. It's probably like all of my savings on a foundation. So I never bought it. And then I got sent PR from Huda Beauty a while ago. And I was like, if my 14 year old self could see the stuff I get sent, like the, I, I don't want to sound, I'm very, very grateful. I don't want to sound like, I don't know, I hate, I wouldn't want anyone to think that I'm boasting about anything in that kind of way. But if I could see what I was doing now, like I wouldn't believe it. Like I still basically don't believe it. Um, and Bobbi Brown again was one of those things. I remember one of my friends bought me a lipstick from Bobbi Brown when I was younger and I was like, oh my God, I got something from Bobbi Brown. And now I've got a few things from Bobbi Brown, so I'm very grateful, but this pink blush is so nice. Okay, enough of me rambling on. The next question is best and worst subject when you were at school. So I don't know if I've spoken about this on here currently. Currently? I don't know if I've spoken about this on here, full stop. In terms of GCSE subjects that I took, my best was definitely, to be honest, probably dance because I was a dancer from when I was like this big. And then, so I took it at GCSE. So that was probably one of my best subjects along with, I would say maths potentially, or like an English. Um, what other subjects did I take? Yeah, probably dance, maths or English. And then worst was computer science. I don't know if you guys know, I took computer science at GCC. It was because I couldn't decide which subject to take. And by the time I take, I decided to take business, there were no business spots left. So I was left with computer science and I failed it. That was the only subject I've ever failed like in my life. And it was computer science and I had no interest in it. I didn't care. I used to always leave the classroom to go to dance so I never really actually did any work for it so yeah and for a level I took psychology economics and English I would say like, I was definitely best at psychology and then I would say I was like worse at economics but I got the same grade in economics as I got in English I got a b b I'm still gutted that I didn't get an a star in psychology I'm not gonna lie Moving swiftly on, I thought I was really bad at economics. Um, I got a B, which don't know how that happened. I'll take it. Fantastic. I was also low key scared of my teacher, kind of high key scared of my teacher. So that probably didn't help. I'm just scrolling through here and someone said, this isn't a bad thing, but you seem like you can't handle spicy food. <laughs> um, I'm actually quite good with spice. By no means am I ordering like the spiciest curry if I get like an Indian takeaway, nor am I going like extra, extra hot at Nando's, but I get medium at Nando's. Like it's a nice spice in my opinion. I like things, I quite like like Korean spice food. Um, yeah, I'm not like shocking with spice, but I'm definitely not like a spice like fiend. Actually, before I do my eyebrows, I'm just gonna do a bit of brightening powder under my eyes to make sure that it's kind of all brightened under there. Someone's asked, do I think my life has changed in any way since becoming an influencer slash doing social media? And 100%, like, I feel like it would be, not weird if it didn't, but of course it's changed. I have a million people on TikTok that follow me. I've got 170,000 people on YouTube that follow me. I've got like hundreds of thousands of people who know who I am, which is weird saying it out loud, like, the fact that even a hundred of you want to watch my videos or watch my content or like anything like that is literally crazy to me. So I feel like, yeah, of course, I feel like it's changed a bit in terms of like my family and friends life, like absolutely not. Like the one thing that's changed is that I can give my friends loads of PR products. <laughs> I had two of my best friends come around the other day and just had like a big box of stuff and I was like, take what you want like it's stuff I don't want to over consume and you guys know um, if you watched my like organizing video I was talking about the fact that I just don't know what to do with everything also I still have the Kylie Cosmetics uh perfume box in the corner of my room because I still don't want to throw it out if you know you know um but yeah in terms of like family and friend life and my life inside my house no not at all but I would say like my life outside my house outside of my close circles 100% has changed like obviously like yeah as I said before I've got 
so many people watching my content, following me, anything like it's it's a lot. But it's even stuff like Sam and I went down to Brighton the other day because I needed to do some holiday shopping because uh, we go away, as I said earlier in this vlog, we go on Monday the 15th so whenever you're watching this I've either been, I'm there potentially or I'm about to go. Uh, but went down to Brighton, bumped into a few of you girls in Costa, so if you're watching this, it was so lovely to meet you. Um, I literally went out for a coffee date with Sam again and Sam's mum in like a local coffee shop and a couple of girls came and said hi, like it's just really, weird isn't the right word because that kind of like insinuates like it's not nice, it is so surreal, like I don't know, it's just so like, I don't think it's not weird but it's like, it's just, what? Like, you actually want to come and say hi to me? Like, what? But I said this on my, like, broadcast channel. Um, if you're not on my broadcast channel on Instagram, what are you doing? It's just, like, a girl's group chat, basically, that I've got. I'll just kind of, like, chat to you. You can't actually talk back, which is kind of annoying, but I do put, like, question boxes so you can reply with things. But I put on there, like, if you ever see me, like, please come and say hi. Like, obviously, if you want to, if you see me, you, like, don't want to speak to her don't um but it literally makes my day like it literally makes my day it's just so cool it literally is like a pinch me moment every time so yeah that is one of the main reasons why i think it's changed i'm just gonna fill in my brows quickly i did try and just talk then and it didn't go well so i'm just gonna fill in my brows and i'll be back okay eyebrows are done i'm just cutting my lashes again i'm scrolling through and just this is not tickled me like i love that phrase but Someone said any good jorts recommendations. Now, I am the last person to tell someone what to wear or what not to wear. It's literally none of my business. And I completely agree with that. Like, why are you commenting on what someone else is wearing? But jorts is one thing you will never see me in. And that is all I'm going to say on that matter. I just, yeah, I'm not a jorts fan, basically. I don't have any good recommendations for jorts, no. This is actually a really cute one. Someone has said, what will your dream life look like in a few years? Okay, I'm gonna go a few years, as in three years, basically, to the day. So I'll be 23. Um, I would love to have a house. It's That's so fortunate, the fact that I can literally say that. 23 years old, I want to have a house is crazy, but I would love to. For me, being like a homeowner, having my own house, designing a house to be I think someone might be at my door as I was saying designing a house having a house all things kind of home related is such a big dream of mine it's kind of the only thing that I really want to spend my money on to be completely honest yeah Healthy. <laughs> so yeah having a house for me is the biggest kind of goal in terms of like purchasing something I don't really care for designer items and things like that like I'd rather just save my money to be honest that's so boring but it's true um so let's say three years I'd love to have a house or a property of some kind I would quite like to be engaged yeah I would love to be engaged at 23 24 23 24 is kind of the age I'd love to get engaged at um maybe have like a dog uh, I would love to still be doing this. I hope that I'm still doing this as my career. I would love that more than anything else. Like, I feel like as well, the longer I do this, the better relationship I'll have with you guys. I don't know if you kind of feel like that too. I think the people that I've been watching for such a long time, I feel almost like I know them. But I would love for you guys to feel like that with me. Like, feel a part of my life because you are at the end of the day. So, yeah, I think... I'd love to still be doing this. I'd love to have a house, be engaged. Um, and yeah. Do you know what? I've just been scrolling and I found this question and I thought I would answer it because if I was someone who asked this question, I would really want to hear this answer. I'm just going to do my eyeliner quickly because I cannot do that and talk. Okay, so the question is, did you have a lot of friends in school at high school? How do you deal with fake friends? And no. I didn't. I was definitely friendly with lots of people. I, I'm just a chassis person, so inevitably I'm gonna talk to people. But would I say I had many actual friends at high school slash school? No. I don't think there's many people that would sit here and say, yeah, I was friends with Daisy at school, because I don't think we were. 
I think it's always difficult as well. Girls, a big group of girls, that kind of thing. Obviously, no one's going to like everyone. Like, that's just inevitable. But I can't be bothered with that. <laughs> like, to be completely honest, I think I would say at school, like, I probably had, like, a handful of actual friends. Um, right now, I, I could count all my friends on two hands. Like, I would much rather have a good quality circle of friends than a huge circle of friends who are fake. Something that I think comes with having a small group of friends or like a small amount of friends is you know where you stand with them. I don't know, there's never like a fake kind of, oh, like, I wonder if she's talking about behind me behind my back. Like, I don't know, I just feel like they're good quality friends. And I know that doesn't mean just having a little amount of friends doesn't always mean that, but I think pick and choose friends very carefully. In terms of dealing with fake friends, it's so much easier said than done, but forget about it and move on. Because the last thing you want to do is waste your time worrying about someone and why waste your time worrying about someone who is fake slash doesn't care for you. There's literally no point. Spend your time worrying about things that actually matter and fake people, fake friends, that kind of stuff doesn't. I also think things kind of, the way you look at something changes your perspective on everything. So it's got very deep all of a sudden, but what I mean by that is, the way you look at something is the way you take it. So like, someone could say something, right, I don't get that many hate comments, I'm very lucky for that, let's not change that. But people quite often like to say, oh, like you've got a filter on your face, let's see what you look like without a filter on your face. Like, it's always like a middle-aged woman that's always saying it, like, the filter on your face helps, blah, blah, blah. I don't use filters, but I could take that as like, Oh, like someone's trying to be like rude or someone's trying to like bring me down the way i see that is <laughs> thanks like that's actually a compliment if she's if someone's saying like oh you've got a filter on your face like oh yeah like the clean girl filter on your face helps like i've not got a filter on my face honey <laughs> like thank you like honestly thank you because that's a really nice compliment or like there was this woman who a while ago was trying to convince everyone i was a robot like because apparently I look like a robot. First of all, not sure how that works. Apparently when I touch things, they don't move. And I just thought like, what is actually wrong with you? Like one, why have you got nothing better to do with your time than comment? She used to comment on all my videos. Like um, she used to comment on brands pages that had posted me saying like, you might want to like check further because this girl isn't real. Please find a hobby. I mean that in the nicest way possible, please find a hobby. If you sit on your phone, your iPad, your laptop and comment, hate comments, I'm not talking about these, to me, to me I don't see them as hate comments unless someone says like, you're ugly, I hate you so much, like that's a hate comment to me, something else is just like a negative comment or like someone who's a loser. Um, if you comment loserish comments on anyone's content, please find something better to do with your time. Like honestly please, it is so sad. Like. When I see a hate comment, I think, God, that's so embarrassing. And like Julia Fox spoke about it and she, someone was like, do you delete hate comments? Like, do you like delete anything that someone says bad about you? And she was like, why am I gonna clean up your mess? Like, it's literally embarrassing. Imagine you were scrolling and you clicked on a video on the comments and like your best friend had commented like something rude. Could never be me. <laughs> but yeah, that was just a little side no. <laughs> this is another question of kind of like, if I watched a video like this, I'd want to hear this from someone. So it says, how do you manage to be so confident all the time? Please, I really need help. And to that, I would say fake it till you make it. I am not confident 100% of the time. Absolutely not. There are situations where I am very unconfident and I feel out of place and anything like that. I, It's an act. So confidence is literally an act. Like, with anybody it's the way that you feel about yourself you could be someone who's like really unconfident is that the right way unconfident not very confident and act as if you're the most confident person in the room and people wouldn't know the difference and it's definitely easier said than done a hundred percent i would agree with that but it's also all about you nobody else can change your confidence levels i mean people can give you confidence boosts by like saying nice things about you or things like that but it's an internal thing. If you don't feel confident or don't act confident, you're not going to feel confident. I don't know. I've said confident way too many times in that sentence. But 
I don't feel confident all the time and that I think is the case with basically every single person on this planet. That also falls under the same kind of category as do I do my makeup every day? How do I look put together all the time? I don't. It's literally, I don't. I'd go as far as to say basically everyone that you watch online is the same as me. I don't think everyone does their makeup every day, does their hair every day, feels confident every day, would post themselves online every day. Like the people that you look up to, not look up to but just kind of like compare yourself to, sometimes they don't look like that. I'm telling you, when I wake up on a Saturday morning and I've done a slick dump, slick bun the day before and my hair has still got like hair mask in it and I'm not fake tanned and I've woken up and I've got a headache and I didn't drink enough water the day before, I don't look like this. It's unrealistic. So never ever ever think that because I would say I look like this 50% of the time, if that. I don't do my makeup every day, I'd probably do my makeup three times a week. I do my hair like when I want to look nice. If not, it's going up in a claw clip and I don't look cute. Like, I don't want you to compare yourself to something that isn't true. And if you are someone that does their makeup every day and they have their hair every day and you do look put together all the time, I bow down to you. Like, that's so impressive and that you have that much like self-discipline <laughs> is very impressive. But I don't want you guys to think that's the normal or that's standard or you have to be like that because you don't. Okay, on that note, this is my makeup done. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely more casual. I hope that I answered good questions. I didn't want to, again, just answer like the same questions as always because I feel like you guys that watch my videos a lot already know these things about me. You don't need to hear me talk about it while doing my makeup. But yes, I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It means the world. And I'll see you in my next video. Love you.